Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today was an experiment. <laughs> it was a first for me, but I was happy with the results, so I'm going to share with you. I will be doing some monoprinting, but instead of using glass plates like we did a couple of videos ago, I'm going to be using wax paper. I thought I would get interesting patterns. I was hoping for dendritic patterns like we did last time, but eh. But it was still really cool. Uh, we're gonna need some wax paper, some acrylic paint, this little bottle. Every time you see me use acrylics, you're gonna see this bottle. If there's one medium that I recommend to get for acrylics, it's the retarder. Otherwise, you want to work quick, okay? Uh, some parchment paper it's just a paper that I really like any paper will do um, I should have probably practiced with printer paper <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad it, it actually worked so um, some a brush some washi tape an exacto knife these two are optional I just created some templates and I did some masking you're gonna see that in a bit some scrap paper again for masking and templates circle uh, circle uh, template and a pencil and paper towel <laughs> and the towel the usuals the first thing I did was I secured uh, one piece of wax onto the surface just to make it easier to spread the paint and I placed the second piece on top Padded, I lift it up, I secured the second piece on the surface, and like we did on the other video, we place the paper over the paint, we slightly pad over it, just enough pressure to get the paint or the pattern transferred, but we don't want to smoosh all the paint, so we want to go light. And I was able to get interesting patterns, you're gonna uh, see close ups at the end. Mm, what I was not able to get very well was to be able to use the same um, pieces of wax paper uh, for the second time uh, it was still interesting but um, the paint didn't stick too good to the uh, paper so I would say that every two pieces of wax paper you get two prints of course you can always you know experiment and try everything for this second one I am using one that I masked. I masked uh, the paper to create uh, just a random geometrical pattern, just for the test. I wasn't planning anything in advance. It was very um, intuitive kind of thing. And for this one, I took the back of my X-Acto knife and I made some marks just to see if that would register. And it did. It was really cool. You're gonna see that in a bit. How awesome is that? You can actually, this is the part where you can get creative and draw funny things or words or whatever you wanna draw and, and then you can transfer it over to the paper. And I just did those mass, like random uh, mass uh, shapes just to give you some ideas of things that you can try and experiment with. You can always also use different colors. I decided to go with just black, just to simplify things for, because it was a test for me and, and for the video. I don't want it to go too long. But as you can see, it's, it's really fun. You can do all kinds of things. I don't remember what I'm doing for this third one. Oh, I think it was the circle template. Yeah, I did something similar. I put the two pieces of wax together and then with the back of the X-Acto knife, I did some random, you know, like a Picasso-like type of pattern and lines. And I think I used a circle template for this one. Yeah. So I, I made two um, different ones by with the circle. It's sort of like a positive and a negative. It was just for testing. Um, you're gonna see better at the end. Um, but I was happy with 
being able to do this um, there's all kinds of things that you can come up with and for the last one I wanted to do a full page so I only masked the borders of the papers and I kind of like those Picasso like patterns that I did on the previous one so that's what I did for this one <laughs> I started to it was like invoking Picasso <laughs> and I guess it worked because I liked it it's um, the results were very very interesting I can't wait to play some more with this uh, to me this is a start starting point I love painting and drawing with inks so what I'm going to do most likely is I'm going to be adding some ink work over this pattern so it is a starting point but you can always again get creative and mix a bunch of different colors and do all kinds of different templates oh you see this is why you want to secure the wax paper <laughs> onto the surface it was kind of hard to lift that one up but yeah very very interesting i have used um wax paper many many times for creating uh, partial textures within a painting for example if I want to create the illusion of water or something sometimes I would use um, paper, wax paper or even uh, plastic wrap to create different textures and effects so this is why it occurred to me that maybe it would work to do the monoprinting um, as a matter of fact, in the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to do that. How you can add this kinds of this kind of effects partially onto a piece of art. Um, but uh, I was uh, I was I was blown away. It almost makes me want to do this now with everything that I can find. I don't know. Maybe I'll do one with the plastic wrap, and maybe I'll do one with uh, tin foil. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's um, it's very it's a new thing to try, you know. And you see, when I remove the washi tape, you see how having those clean edges really helps. It pumps up the image. It's it, it really does amplify the uh, the patterns and an image and I'm giving you here some close-ups because when you look closely there is all kinds of interesting things happening um, I was blown away I saw little skulls I saw random faces I saw flowers <laughs> um, textures that reminded me of rocks or oh tell me tell me that you see the unicorn there is a unicorn on this one please tell me you can see it it's right there there's a unicorn <laughs> I think this one was my favorite because there is a unicorn um, but um, overall I was very very happy it was a lot of fun and um, I'm pretty sure as soon as I begin working and adding ink to them I'm gonna begin to see even more things crazy things happening in there um, this one was the very first one that I did where I didn't make any marks with the knife and on this one I was actually able to get a few dendritic patterns to form this one was the one that looked uh, more um, earth earth earthly earthy earthly it's 10 past 11 p.m. so I hope I made sense because it's kind of late and my brain uh, at this hour oh my goodness but yeah the first ones were the one that looked more organic so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to work on those um, but uh, in general, every uh, every single one of them was uh, very interesting and I can't wait to do more. Let me know if you found this video interesting <laughs> and I will see you on my next video. Bye!